For more than 70 years, U.S. 7th Fleet has maintained a continuous forward presence in the Indo-Asia Pacific, while partnering with neighboring countries to ensure peace and stability in the region. Being forward deployed to Yokosuka, Japan allows U.S. Naval Forces in the Indo-Asia Pacific to be ready to respond immediately to our partners and allies in their time of need. U.S. 7th Fleet has a rich history. On March 15, 1943, U.S. 7th Fleet was officially established in Brisbane, Australia by General Douglas MacArthur. After World War II, 7th Fleet headquarters moved for a time to Shanghai, China, then to Subic Bay, Philippines, and finally to Yokosuka, Japan, aboard the flagship USS Blue Ridge, where it has been since. Today, 7th Fleet is the U.S. Navy's largest forward deployed fleet. At any given time, there are between 50 to 70 ships in the area of operations, 140 aircraft, and roughly 20,000 sailors based throughout the region. Our area of responsibility spans more than 124 million square kilometers, from the International Day Line to the west coast of India and north of the Kerala Islands to Antarctica in the south. This region includes 36 maritime nations and more than 60% of the world's population, five of the largest foreign militaries, and home to five of the U.S.'s mutual defense treaty allies, which include the Philippines, South Korea, Australia, Thailand, and Japan. U.S. 7th Fleet has a strong bilateral relationship with Japan and is the linchpin of the 7th Fleet's forward presence, as ships, aircraft, and forces are forward deployed to five installations in Japan. This region has grown to become the heartbeat of global maritime commerce, with over $5 trillion of global trade that passes through this region. 7th Fleet's primary mission is to keep the shared commons open and accessible to all to ensure economic growth and prosperity continues to benefit everyone, not only in the region, but globally. We team up with allied and partner nations through more than 150 bilateral and multilateral exercises every year to build, exchange, and work together to solve common core problems, such as humanitarian and disaster response, terrorism, and drug and human trafficking. By working together, promoting and operating in accordance with international law and norms, a strong framework of mutual trust and cooperation is built that provides the region with a more secure future. 7th Fleet consists of 11 Specialized Warfare Task Forces. This allows the commander the flexibility to create specific warfare packages to meet mission requirements and respond quickly to a crisis. CTF-70, Battle Force 7th Fleet, commands all aircraft carrier strike groups and independently deployed cruisers, destroyers, and frigates who are forward deployed or assigned to the 7th Fleet area of operations in support of strike warfare, anti-surface, anti-air, and anti-submarine warfare, with USS Ronald Reagan and Carrier Air Wing 5 the centerpiece. CTF-71, Commander Naval Special Warfare Unit 1, deploys special warfare forces, including SEALs, for operations abroad in support of fleet and national interest in exercise, contingency, and wartime requirements. CTF-72, Commander Patrol and Reconnaissance Force, conducts intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance flights using P-3 Orion and P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol and Reconnaissance Aircraft in anti-submarine patrols, surface searches, and search and rescue missions. CTF-73 Commander Logistics Force Western Pacific provides supplies from Military Sealift Command Fleet Replenishment Oilers, ammunition and supply ships to naval forces operating around the 7th Fleet. CTF-74 Commander Submarine Force serves as the theater anti-submarine warfare commander for 7th Fleet, coordinating and controlling attack and guided missile submarine operations. CTF-75, Commander, Expeditionary Forces, streamlines the command and control of 7th Fleet Expeditionary Forces, which include an Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit, Coastal Riverine, and CB units. CTF-76, Commander, Amphibious Force, conducts amphibious warfare operations ranging from humanitarian relief to full combat operations as part of the Navy Marine Corps team. CTF-78, Commander, Naval Forces Korea, serves as the 7th Fleet's principal liaison to the Republic of Korean Navy and coordinates all exercise and operational matters involving the U.S. Navy in Korea. CTF-79, Commander, Landing Force, provides Marine Air Ground Task Force 
Joint Task Force-capable headquarters that can rapidly deploy naval and or land-based forces in order to fulfill operational requirements. CTF-7J, Commander, Naval Forces Japan, serves as liaison to the Japan Self-Defense Forces for Alliance Management, Political Military Engagement, and Bilateral Planning and Coordination Efforts. They manage six installations which provide shore-based critical infrastructure essential for sustaining 7th Fleet maritime operations and enables fleet, fighter, and family readiness. The commitment of 7th Fleet can be seen in the faces of our sailors. Our daily patrols and engagements in the Indo-Asia Pacific waters provide opportunities for our sailors to meet our allies and partners face to face. Our ships and crews make over 300 port visits every year in order to build and maintain meaningful relationships between our sailors and host nation friends. Through these personal experiences, trust, cultural understanding, and meaningful cooperation grows, which creates a positive environment for a lasting, stable, and peaceful region. Over the last 70 years, the men and women of Seven Fleet have been here to assist our allies and partner nations when called upon be it responding to man-made or natural disasters, or through building capacity and partnerships, our commitment is unwavering. We will continue to be here to promote peace and maintain stability in the region for years to come.